and uh, we're going to line things up a little bit and talk about surfing today and hopeful access. Um, so, just briefly, my company is a for profit company, but we're a company with a mission. Or, actually, I said that wrong. We like to think we're a mission with a company and not a company with a mission. And we have a very serious um, topic to discuss today, today in a very fun way, and that's coastal access, and that's specifically coastal access for kids from disadvantaged communities. So, so share my company real quickly. It's an online marketplace that allows people to rent each other gear. And so, since we have this marketplace full of people here, we thought, well, we have an opportunity to do stuff with that gear and get more people outside. So, you'll see here, this is our cartoon mascot we call the Rad Squatch, and he kind of introduces the way the marketplace works in a real fun way, but the idea is, I could rent your surfboard, you could rent my kayak, we could rent each other tents, and the idea of uh, action sports equipment in the sharing economy. Um, so our vision with the company, what we wanted to do was access nature and access new adventures. And I'm a young professional who um, started this company because it was difficult for me to try new things. So the idea is so share, we have these beautiful amazing places in California, we just need the gear to access them. So that's our company's goal, is to try to provide that gear. But the mission, I really want to come talk to this mission about today is this partnership we have with the Surfrider Foundation and hopefully organizations like the Coastal Commission moving forward. I believe that I'm an environmentalist. I am very passionate about the work I do with Surfrider um, because I grew up in nature and I was fortunate to do that. I was fortunate to have access to nature. We believe people protect what they love. They love what they know and they know what they experience. So if we can get more young people to experience nature and fall in love with it, We'll have more people in the future that grow up to be the eco warriors we all need them to be. And you see, this is a disturbing trend that we're trying to address. Uh, you might have seen lots of figures and, and charts like this, but kids are spending less time outdoors, kids are spending more time on their electronics. So what we'd like to do is flip this scenario, to use those electronics, use that technology to inspire them to get outdoors more, and use the tools and resources and the crowdsourcing opportunities that our company has provided, and partnerships with organizations like Surfrider provide, to get more kids outdoors. So uh, this great quote, I'm, I'm not, not sure if you've heard of Richard Liu before, but he's a very inspirational author. He talks a lot about the problem of kids spending less time in nature. And of course, this is a beautiful representation. If this connection between children and nature continues, who will become the future stewards of the earth? So I described how I'm a young professional, and I have trouble getting gear, and I have trouble getting access to nature. So. We saw how young people of all social demographics are having spending more time indoors than on technology. Well, what about the kids from disadvantaged communities? We have 16 million kids in this country that live below, below the poverty level. If I have trouble accessing nature and I have trouble getting the gear to get outdoors, how difficult must it be for them? So we launched this program that we're calling One Watershed, and One Watershed is a mission to partner with at-risk youth nonprofits and environmental conservation groups so that we can connect at-risk youth kids from disadvantaged communities to nature through action sports. And it's been an incredible success thus far, and it's something I really wanted to present to you today to see as an opportunity for the Coastal Minutes Commission to join our movement and really empower this moving forward so we can scale it across California. So to date, we've done uh, nine events in Los Angeles, San Francisco, and San Diego. Like I said, I'm from Venice Beach, so most of this happens in LA, but we've done it in other places. And these are some of the organizations you can see on the bottom, Patagonia, Airbnb, Tom's, that have partnered with us, and we'd love to see the Coastal Commission logo up there too. And uh, our goal as a company, and our goal with our work with Surfrider, especially in 2017, with Surfrider's very strong emphasis towards coastal access and coastal access from people from Indian communities, is that we want to measure our success not by the money we make at Stokeshare, but by the number of kids we get outdoors. So here's, I'm going to show you some quick photos here of, of the events we've done in Los Angeles and San Diego where we've partnered with Surfrider and we've partnered with these youth groups to get kids outdoors. And uh, what's amazing is you see here, this is a great picture of this connection where we're building bridges between communities. Um, I'm, I'm sure everyone's familiar that sadly the surfing industry and the, and the action sports industry and even Surfrider tends to be a little bit too white and a little bit too... Um, higher class economically. And you know, we think there's a great opportunity here through a program like this to change that perspective. This is actually the chair of the West LA chapter. So I'm the vice chair of the West LA Malibu chapter of Surfrider. This is the chair at one of our events. So what's great about it, we do the event, we take kids surfing, we take kids surfing who've never been in the ocean before. We get them to fall in love with this great experience. And then afterwards, we talk about what Surfrider's doing to help protect this beautiful place they just enjoy. 
So we, we actually just recently did our first event in the mountains. We took a bunch of kids snowboarding from downtown LA. And we call this program One Watershed, and I think really powerful for this organization of saying the environmental impact of a watershed, everything we do has an impact downstream. Right? I don't think I need to emphasize the environmental message there. But the idea of socially, the metaphor is if we can impact a young person's life when it's young and show them their community cares about them, show them that the mountains and the ocean are as much theirs as, as it is the kids that live near the coast, that can have profound impacts on that kid's future. And that's something we really think is, uh, has a powerful opportunity here. So again, you know, another part of this which is great is not just the kids enjoying it, but look at the volunteers, the adults behind it, who watch their surfboard and their efforts push a kid into a wave for the first time. You can see they're in scope as a kid. This kid grew up nine miles from Venice Beach in downtown LA. This is the first time he'd ever been in the ocean. And as you can see, he's pretty stoked about it. We've done paddle boarding. That's me, slap the bottom there at the end. This is surf riders showing me environmental education. We did Save, uh, Save the Bay in San Francisco, did some education after their event, and it's working. The kids really start to get into the idea of plastic pollution and what they need to do to protect it. And just to wrap up finally, we have Stoke Share, we have Surf Rider, and we'd love to see the close Thank you, that was, that was lovely. Thank, Thank you very much. Uh, Jennifer Savage, speaking of Surf Rider, has one person seated.